Hey friends, Miranda here, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So I did come across some wish list items, some totally new items, and just lots of good stuff. So if you want to see what I picked up, stick around. So this first item right here, you guys, I was super excited to find. This is the A&R Alien Rose Crispy Honey Comb with Sea Salt. And basically it says it's handmade sponge toffee and dark chocolate. So it's like honeycomb with chocolate and sea salt. And it just sounded amazing. You already know this is about to fly off the shelves. Because anything like honeycomb, anything honey is like mad crazy expensive. So to get this for a dollar, I think that's amazing. Um, it is like 230 calories per serving though. Um, but I am ex super excited to try this out. So best believe I did stock up. I was so happy to come across these. These are the little fun bites. And these are just so perfect for, you know, lunchtime, whether it's at home or you're sending your kids lunch to school. But this is just so perfect. Um, so this one you can make just like bite-sized square cutouts. But this one you actually get to make like a little Paw Patrol um, it's kind of like the little whatever they call it like the emblem or symbol that they have I don't know but you get like the little dog bones you get a little paw print in there it's so so cute um, and for those of you that actually can't find these I do know that Holler has them on their website right now um, and they're only 40 cents small so they're $1.40 um, on Holler if you can't find it at your Dollar Tree, but I think this is a great deal I do know these go for way way more online elsewhere um, But yeah, this is just going to be perfect to make lunchtime a little bit more fun Next up I came across the sweet chaos peppermint crunch popcorn you guys um, This is just a perfect little whether you want to put it in a stocking Christmas Eve box, which is what I'm doing with my kiddos, or even just in like a little gift basket or something. Um, it sounds really good. Um, it's peppermint crunch drizzled with white, uh, sweet white and dark icing. Um, and it is actually gluten free. Um, it's made with cane sugar and sea salt, whole grain, no uh, high fructose corn syrup, no artificial colors or flavors, no trans fat. So it is 160 calories per bag. So I found the Russell Stover's peppermint um, little chocolates here. It's crushed peppermint pieces and white fudge. I don't think they've had these in the previous years. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and give these a try because they just sound really, really good. And Russell Stover's, like their candies are like always delicious. So I came across a bunch of new candles this time around. I have a couple here. There's some more in some other bags. I'm just pulling stuff out as I go. Um, but I found this Old Williamsburg Double Caramel Gelato Scented Candle. You guys, oh my goodness, this smells absolutely amazing. And then I found also the Luminescence Winter Pine. This one is just like so refreshing, so very winter, you guys, like for real. Like you definitely get that pine smell. It's just, it's very, very nice. So got a couple candles here. Like I said, there is more. And then I did also come across my, I can't believe my Dollar Tree finally got these in. The facial cleansing brush. I did receive one in a giveaway, but I wanted to pick up an extra one just in case. I've actually heard some people are actually using these not for your face, but for cleaning. Um, I don't know how that works, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go ahead and just Pick one up to have extra because I probably should have picked up more because you just never know when Dollar Tree will get these in again. So I came across some of the new bows, the new girl bows. Um, and so I picked up the frozen one here as well as Peppa Pig. My girls absolutely love Peppa Pig, you guys. It's like the one thing that they love to watch like on my phone. Um, I did pick up the princess one. And then I also picked up the Shimmer and Shine. Um, they did also have Minnie Mouse, and I believe there was one other design. I forget what it was, but I did go ahead and pick those up. And then for each of my kiddos, I am going to be putting a puzzle in their stocking this year. Um, so for my Yuwali girl, I went ahead and I picked up this Baby Shark one. 
She absolutely loves her baby shark. She gets mad when other people start singing her song. Her song. Um, but so Little Man was with me when I picked this out. Um, there was like three or four different designs. But this one's super cute. So when you put it together, it actually looks like this. It's only a 24 piece. But I thought it would be perfect for her to start getting into puzzles. Next up, I came across this Welch's Wholesome and Delicious Dried Honey Crisp Apples. Just kind of weird because they don't feel like, you know, a dried fruit. They feel like gummy-like, which is really odd to me. Um, I don't really understand that. But uh, it is a 5-ounce bag. So there's a pretty good amount in here. It's at least like half full. But again, I think it's kind of weird. It says that they are dried and yet they are feel very gummy-like. But I thought I would go ahead and give these a try. I'm not huge on like dried fruits, but since these feel gummy-ish, <laughs> I thought why not? So every year I do Christmas Eve boxes for the kiddos and I like to add in like some of their like favorite snacks or just some fun little things for them. We love Spongebob in this house. Ever since my kids were little, they've been obsessed. Still love it. So I got these for their little Christmas Eve box, little Spongebob Krabby Patty gummies. Um, so I got one for each of them. Um, and I picked up a bunch of different like medicine stuff, you guys, um, just because lately my kids and everybody's just kind of been off and on sick or whatever. And so I, last week was just a bad week. <laughs> um, but anywho, I picked up some of these. I've never tried them out. I've seen them. I've, I've just never picked them up. If you guys have tried them out, let me know. But I picked up some of these nasal strips. Um, I thought that these would be good, especially for the kiddos, but basically, um, you put it on your nose and it's supposed to, uh, help relieve nasal congestion. So I got some of these. I also picked up some of the Assured Multi-Symptom Daytime Liquid Capsules. And then I did also get them in the nighttime. Um, you know, lots of people don't like to buy the medicine at Dollar Tree, but I've honestly never had an issue with it or anything like that. Um, so... You know, we'll give these a try for me and hubby, see how well they work. And then, of course, I had to pick up some cough drops here. So, nothing special there. And then I finally came across the little red truck tumbler. Um, it was the actually the only one that was there. Um, I was hiding behind the rest of them, so I'm happy I was able to find this. Um, I also just picked up some saline spray here. And then I found this really pretty ornament. It's just a, the letter M, obviously, for our family name. So I thought that was pretty. So I went ahead and I picked that up. And then, um, so now that they have all the Christmas stuff out, uh, they have, like, all the little, like, stocking stuffer area there. And so I came across these little games here. They're pretty much the same one is frog trap, one is um, penguin trap, and basically it's just like the game Break the Ice, I think is what it's called, but like a mini version of it. So I thought these would be perfect. You get the little picks in there, and it shows you everything that you get. But I thought, I mean, for a buck, I mean, the actual game itself runs, I think, like $10 or more. Um, so to get these, I mean, this is just perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, and then, like I said, each of my kiddos is getting a puzzle in their stocking. So I got this one for my son since he loves his Avengers. I swear, this kid is only eight and he knows probably more about Avengers than anybody else. <laughs> um, but he was actually telling me he wanted this one. And so I picked this up for him. It's Thanos, I think is what his name is. I don't know. But so I got him that. And then for my other daughter, um, I don't know which one I'm going to put in her stocking. I'll put one in her stocking and then one in her birthday that's coming up in January. Um, but I did find these 100-piece puzzles. She is a puzzle pro. She's doing 100-piece puzzles. And I actually just had to throw out all of her puzzles that she had because they just, my kids, they play with the puzzles. They tend to lose a lot of the pieces. So a lot of them are, like, losing pieces or missing pieces. So I need to, like, start stocking up on puzzles again. But I want to get her only puzzles that are 100-piece because, like, the 24 and 48 are just way too easy for her. But so I did find Anna and Elsa. 
And then I found these little Entenmann's hot cocoa little like kind of K-cup thingies. You get three in here. So I picked up a couple boxes of these for some outgoing mail that I'm going to be sending. Got my paper towels. Okay, totally new candy canes, Kool-Aid flavored. I am truly curious if these are going to really taste like the Kool-Aid. Um, but the flavors in here are Tropical Punch, Cherry, and Grape. You get a six count. So I got those ones. And then I also got these ones. These ones are by Brock's, and they're the hot cocoa ones. I picked these up last year. The kids really liked them, and even my sister really enjoyed them. So I went ahead and picked that one up. You get six in it. And then, of course, as I do every year, I always get my kiddos one of the really big candy canes. Um, so I got this one for my son. It's Paw Patrol. And this one they actually comes with little stickers in it. And then I did also get one for each of my girls and the trolls. These were the only two designs that they had. They did have other candy canes that didn't have stickers. But I thought I would go ahead and get the sticker one because why not? What kid doesn't love stickers, right? <laughs> so I got those for them. So this was a new find I had never seen previously. It's the pumpkin pie spice. So that's pretty cool to be able to find this for a dollar. How it tastes, I have no idea. Um, but pumpkin pie spice is not cheap, you guys. And especially even if you want to make it on your own, you have to buy like all the other spices that are in it. So to get this for a dollar, I think that's a great deal. I love, love, love chocolate covered cherries you guys and this time they actually had the queen brand which is the name brand of these at dollar tree um i previously hauled another brand which i did not care for at all but these ones the queen Anne ones are absolutely delicious um they are just like kind of like the half pack if you were to buy like at an like at your typical grocery store where they have like the double pack um we get, i think like 10 or something this one is just like the individual like like five pack um, so yeah, there are like five pieces in it. <laughs> so I got a couple of those and then I did come across finally the Sassy and Chic mini tweezers. It's a three set, but I mean three tweezers for a buck. I'm yeah, that's a really good deal. Like I said, more candles. Uh, so they have some new of the cupcake ones. I absolutely love these candles. They have a really nice throw and the scents are just, they're very strong. Um, so they had this one here. This is the salted caramel and then the apple cobbler. This one isn't too bad. It's not like too like overpowering, like the apple scent is there. This one is absolutely amazing, you guys. Um, I do know there's another one out there. It's like mint chocolate or something like that um, with like a green like paper around it. Or it's brown. I think it's brown with green, something like that. But um, my Dollar Tree didn't have that one. So I went ahead and I picked these two up. And then they had a couple new old Williamsburg mason jar ones. So you got the blueberry pie and peach cobbler. This one I kind of like a little bit more than this one. This one was a more lighter scent, but they both smell really good. And I absolutely love these little mason jar candles. I did also come across the little earrings that everybody's been hauling, the Christmas ones, little uh, light bulbs, and they do light up, you guys, so there's like a little button, and um, the flash, like different ways, or they can be solid, so that is awesome. I mean, earrings at the Dollar Tree, yes, please. <laughs> So I did also come across the new flavors of the Snyder's Holy Cheese. Um, so you got the Spicy Pepper Jack over here. And this one is White Cheddar and Chive. They both sound really good. Uh, I previously had the Gouda one and the Cheddar one and they were delicious. Um, they are strongly flavored. I will say that though you guys. So if you're not into that, they might not be for you. Um, but I am excited to try out these flavors here. Some more stocking candy. Uh, I always, always, for my kiddos, for hubby and my brother, get the little Santa sacks here by Palmer. It's just kind of tradition. So I got one for each of them. You get like little crispy Santas, little like fudge bell thingies, peanut butter cups, that kind of stuff. So I did get those. And then this was actually new this year. I've never seen this. Um, but these are the Russell Stover's Santa's Wonderland Itty Bitty Chocolate Mini Santas. 
Um, and you actually get 60 pieces in here. So 60 little itty bitty Santa Clauses in there. Um, so it's just, you know, like milk chocolate. So I got one for each of my kiddos. Then of course, cactuses. You know I had to pick these up. So you got this little cactus here. This actually matches that one like wall decal that they came out with a while ago. Um, but you got this like pink cactus and it's in this little like planter pot that has the face on it and then we got this one that's like in a little planter bowl thingy and it says hug me but it's so cute and I finally came across the one Christmas sign I was looking for I think it's just so so cute you have like I'm guessing Rudolph <laughs> and it says oh dear Christmas is here and I, yeah, it's just, it's so cute. I am thinking about putting this like on my door, but like outside, like my front door and hanging it from there. I don't know yet. We'll see, but adorable. It, yeah. <laughs> then I went ahead and picked up some more of the Golden Farms crispy onions. You guys, I've honestly been like snacking on these because they are so good. Um, they're not as salty as like the French's brand but they are really good and yeah like I said these even just make for a great snack and the last few items I found were the little velvet poster little art sets um, so I previously hauled the frozen one um, but this time I found this one which is the Toy Story one and you get 14 pieces in here. You get uh, three glitter posters, six mini posters, five velvet posters, and four markers. Um, and it shows you on the back all the ones that you get in there. So I got that one. And then this one I thought was so cool. I love this movie. I've never seen the cartoon, but I love the movie. We own it. It's spirit. Um, and this one you get eight posters in here. Um, and again, it shows you on the back the posters and you also get the markers in here as well. And then the last one I found was the Lion King one. And again, you get the eight posters in here and the markers. Um, they did also have, I believe it was Minnie Mouse. And I'm not sure if there was another one. I think it might have just been the Frozen one that was there. So this is the, the Toy Story one is the only one that has like way more in it. The other ones are just like the posters and the markers. So that is it for this haul, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you guys can find some of these goodies at your Dollar Tree. Appreciate you guys watching. Join the family if you have not. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.